Now we're going to talk about robotic cleaners and how to vacuum your pool. This is the robotic cleaner that we provide for you. It's a creepy crawler. This particular model is the Prowler 820. So what we want to do is take the robotic cleaner off the base and uh, unravel the cord. What you always want to remember is we want to throw the robotic cleaner in the same spot of the pool as it is actually designed to program the layout of the pool and make it a more efficient clean. Grab it by the handle, never grab it by the cord. Bring it close to the edge of the pool. And not, not to drop it too close to the edge because we don't want to damage your coping or we don't want to damage the actual unit. Let me just throw it in. You want to make sure that the cord that going into the floor is not tangled, not knotted. Let that sink. It's a good idea to keep the power center about three or four feet away from the edge of the pool. Make sure it's plugged in, everything's connected. And all you got to do is press the, the button, the power button on the power center right here. Once you see these four blue lights come on, the unit should start activating. This creepy crawler will save you a lot of time in vacuuming your pool. It also climbs up the walls. Pretty amazing unit. When you're ready to remove the robotic cleaner from the pool, first thing you want to do is turn the power off. Then what we could do is we can use the cord to pull it close to us, but we don't want to use the cord to pull it out of the water. Not too hard. Once we get it close, we get it close to the edge of the water, then it's got the handles on the side. Grab it by the handle and pull it right up. Now it's time to inspect the filters and possibly even clean them. We got these clips. Open the clips. We have two filters, which all the debris goes inside the filters. The way that the robotic cleaner works is from suction, and these flaps open, allowing debris and dirt to go inside. And everything gets trapped inside these filters. So, what we're going to do now is clean them. So these tabs just open up like this. Filters come out and you can see that there's a little bit of debris in here. Also, we want to clean the cage. Okay. Once you've cleaned your filters, you gotta remember when you put them back that the tabs are, stay up top and that the plastic frame is on the outside. And then just turn the clip. Locks it in place. Do the same to the other side. Now it's ready to go back into the cleaner. When you're putting it back into the cleaner, Always inspect the inside for any kind of dirt and debris that may have gotten in there. Also for any kind of objects. You got two motors in here. One drives the powertrain and the other one is for the suction, the vacuuming. So everything looks to be clean. So 
this goes back in like so. Close the clips. And it's ready to do another vacuum. You're storing it away. Put it back. That one's the cart. And just fold up the hose. It's also very important that your family and friends and children do not swim in the pool when the robotic cleaner is, is cleaning the pool. Whenever you're ready to go for a swim, you should take the robotic cleaner out and put it away.